नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स टू इन इट्स वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन हियर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट वाज द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस वीक एंड व्हाट विल बी द वेदर फोरकास्ट ऑफ द अपकमिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट सनॉप्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ द लास्ट वीक देन इन द प्रीवियस वीक दैट इज ड्यूरिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ जून टिल सेवेंथ ऑफ जून two western disturbances along with the two cyclonic circulations over the parts of northwest india affect most parts of the northwest india during uh, initial days of the previous week over the south peninsular india a north south trough which basically runs from the east madhya pradesh up to the karnataka uh, uh, during some days and which runs from the east bihar up to the south chatisgarh during some days of the week over the bay of bengal a cyclonic circulation lies over the east central bay of bengal and over the arabian sea on 6 of june uh, a cyclonic storm bipor joy has formed and which is moving gradually uh, nearly northward because of these synoptic features in the last week thunder squall observed over the uttarakhand which are given in the dotted form and hail storm activity mainly observed over the jammu division himachal pradesh uttarakhand during two or three days uh, in the previous week and hail storm also occurred over the central parts of rajasthan central parts of madhya pradesh during three days of the week and hail storm activities occurred over the mad uh, maharashtra during three days of the week and uh, in the one day of the week hail storm activity occurred over the odisha and telangana if you look for the heavy rainfall then heavy rainfall occurred over the himachal pradesh uttarakhand central rajasthan uh, west madhya pradesh कोंकण गोवा मध्य महाराष्ट्र कोस्टल एंड प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना कोस्टल एंड प्रदेश तमिलनाडु एंड केरला ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस वीक एंड हैवी रेनफॉल वाज आल्सो अकर्ड ओवर द आइलैंड्स ऑन वन आर टू डेज इन द प्रीवियस वीक इफ यू लुक फॉर द हीट वेव कंडीशंस देन द हीट वेव कंडीशंस वर प्रिवेल्ड ओवर ऑल द डेज ऑफ द वीक ओवर द वेस्ट बंगाल सिक्किम एंड बिहार एंड हीट वेव कंडीशंस प्रिवेल्ड टू आर थ्री डेज ओवर द ईस्ट झारखंड तेलंगाना एंड कोस्टल एंड प्रदेश इन द प्रीवियस वीक this is the observed rainfall so as we can see which are given in the blue color this is the area which which are uh, represents the above normal rainfall so as we can see uh, most parts of the northwest india received the above normal rainfall activity in the previous week however this red color means west madhya pradesh coastal and pradesh tamil nadu and lakshadweep islands which is the deficient rainfall activity uh, and over the yellow color area means most parts of the north east india most parts of the east india some parts of the central and some parts of the west india received the large deficient rainfall activity in the previous week and if you look for the observed rainfall uh, during the previous week then country as a whole received the 9.9 mm of rainfall against the 23 mm of the rainfall which is roughly 57 degree lesser rainfall 57% lesser rainfall and we can also see that except the north west india all the other homogeneous region received the below normal rainfall however the north west india received 69 percent above rainfall in the previous week and if you look for the uh, monsoon onset then on 1st of june the monsoon has entered over the uh, uh, south arabian sea and some more parts of the bay of bengal some and on 2nd of june it further uh, move forward and reaches up to the and cover basically some more parts of the arabian sea some more parts of the bay of bengal area and today on 8th of june uh, the monsoon has set in over the kerala against the normal date of the uh, 1st june and today uh, if you look for the what were the conditions uh, for the onset of monsoon so uh, if you look for the westerly winds which uh, which were prevailing over the south arabian sea and kerala which extends up to up to the 4.5 km above mean sea level and the mean speed of these westerly winds at 925 spa was uh, about 19 knot and the outgoing long wave radiation was uh, observed uh, roughly 192 watt per square meter uh, today and uh, kerala basically reported the widespread rainfall activity yesterday and the maximum 11 cm rainfall was recorded so it means all the criteria rainfall criteria wind criteria and the out outgoing long wave radiation criteria, criteria has been fulfilled that's why the monsoon has uh, uh, make onset over the kerala today on 8th of june and the conditions are uh, this is the basically blue color line which uh, shows up to which up to where the monsoon has reached and the conditions are 
are also becoming uh, favorable for further uh, movement, further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of the southeast Arabian Sea, uh, remaining parts of the Kerala, some more parts of the Tamil Nadu, some parts of the Karnataka, and some more parts of the Bay of Bengal. And uh, during next 48 uh, uh, 48 uh, hours and during next two days, uh, this monsoon will also reach over some parts of the northeastern states. This is the uh, very severe cyclonic storm before Joy. So as we know, this is the satellite picture uh, which shows the very intense cloud convection over the central parts of the Arabian Sea. So uh, over on the 6th of uh, June, a uh, depression has formed over the southeast Arabian Sea. And this depression intensified into a cyclonic storm on the evening of 6th June. Uh, and this cyclonic storm further intensified into a severe cyclonic storm on the 7th morning. And similar this severe cyclonic storm uh, uh, intensified further into a very severe cyclonic storm on the uh, around noon of 7th June. This black color line represents how this cyclonic storm has moved so far and this red color line represents the forecast track of the cyclonic storm before joy. It means how it will move uh, and uh, in which direction it will move over the Arabian Sea. And uh, if, if we uh, today this uh, cyclonic storm very severe cyclonic storm before joy uh, was roughly 850 kilometer west of Goa. It was 890 kilometer southwest of Mumbai. It was 900 kilometer south southwest of Porbandar and around 1180 kilometer south of Karachi. This system will continue to intensify further uh, till noon of uh, 10th June and around the 10th morning the maximum wind speed will be around 145 to 155 kmph over the central Arabian Sea. After the uh, from the evening of 10th June, the speed wind speed of the this system will gradually decrease and will become 130 to 140 kmph. And if you look into the today's main chips and optic features, so today over the as we have seen, the, we have the cyclonic storm before joy over the Arabian Sea and over the Bay of Bengal, we have a cyclonic circulation mainly over the east central Bay of Bengal. Over the Uttarakhand, we have a western disturbance in the mid middle tropospheric levels, and over the coastal and Pradesh, a cyclonic circulation is also there in the lower tropospheric levels. And if you look for the weather forecast uh, for the next five days, uh, especially if we consider for the heat wave conditions, the heat wave conditions will mainly prevail over the parts of East, in, uh, East India till 11th of June. And for the 8th June, 9th and 10th June, we have given the orange color warning. And from 12th of June, there will be the revet, uh, there will be the relief from the heat wave conditions over the region. However, the heat wave conditions will also prevail over the Uttar Pradesh on 9th of June, 10th of June and 11th of June. So Similarly, the heat wave condition at one or two places will be also prevail over the Telangana and Odisha uh, till 9th of June. If we consider for the heavy rainfall conditions, then there will be the light to moderate rainfall activity will continue over the many parts of the South Peninsula India during next five days. However, there will be also heavy rainfall activity over the Kerala during next five days and heavy rainfall will, uh, will also very likely over Lachidip area on 8th June, 9th June and 10th June and heavy rainfall activity will will start over some parts of the coastal Karnataka and South Hindri Karnataka on 11th June and 12th of June. There will not be any significant weather over the most parts of the central India, most parts of the northwest India and most, most parts of the northern plains of the country. However, the light rainfall activity at one or two places will be experienced and thunderstorm activity uh, along with the lightning and gusty winds will also be continuing over at one or two places over the parts of central India in the upcoming next five days. Uh, Rajasthan will also experience light rainfall along with the thunderstorm and dust storm activity at one or two places till 9th of June. If you look for the northeast India, then the northeast uh, over the northeast India, light to moderate rainfall activity will continue during next five days. However, isolated heavy rainfall is very likely over the Mizoram and Tripura on 8th June and 9th June and 10th of June. And over the Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya will uh, very likely to experience heavy rainfall activity from 9th of June, which will continue till 12th of June at one or two places. So we have given the yellow color warning for the northeast. India for the upcoming five days. 
and if we look for the rainfall activity in the first week that is from 9th of june till 15th of june then the north east india will uh, will experience above normal rainfall activity which are given in the this blue color region however there will be the uh, north east india basically receive the above normal above normal rainfall activity however there will be the below normal rainfall activity over the maharashtra some parts of the east india and some parts of the central india which are given in the orange color and dark red color shaded area in the remaining parts of the country means over the northwest india and the many parts of the south peninsula india and some parts of the gujarat state also will receive the normal rainfall activity in the week 1 similarly in the week 2 also northeast india will uh, experience above normal rainfall activity in the week 2 as well and uh, some parts of the south peninsula india mainly mainly the tamil nadu karnataka and some parts of the andhra pradesh will receive the above normal rainfall activity however the maharashtra and some parts of the central india jammu kashmir and himachal pradesh will continue to experience below normal rainfall activity in the week 2 and in the remaining parts of the country uh, for example the rajasthan some parts of the gujarat state punjab haryana uttar pradesh will receive the normal rainfall activity in the week 2 similarly if we look for the maximum temperature then the maximum temperature will be will continue to prevail more than 40 degree centigrade in, uh, over the uh, mainly over the bihar some parts of the west bengal some parts of the odisha jharkhand and some parts of the east uttar pradesh and rajasthan in the week 1 in the remaining uh, parts of the country maximum temperature will be below 40 degree centigrade and the term, minimum maximum temperature will be below normal over the most parts of the country except parts of the east india and parts of the west coast where the temperatures will be uh, above normal similarly in the week 2 also the maximum temperatures will be below normal over the most parts of the northwest india and adjoining central india which are given in the this gray color shaded form and over the northeast india some parts of the peninsular india however the maximum temperature will be above normal over Uh, many parts of the east india many parts of the west india which are given in the orange and red color shaded area in the week 2 that is during the 16th of june till 22nd of june and for more detailed weather information you can visit the imd website you can follow us on our facebook page and our youtube channel thank you